What's up guys, what you're about to watch is the best easy cup settings ever, so drop a like on the video, share it, everything, you know what I mean guys, so, and if you want to see the quality at the end of the video, go ahead, skip right to the end, but if you want to see the um, tutorial, make sure you watch the video in carefully, and make sure you pause it at different stages. What's up guys, it's your boy Michael P96, and welcome to another easy cup tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to capture your video in Virtual Dub and how you can record your games console. So basically, follow what I do, guys, and you should succeed and have the same quality as me. So first off, open Virtual Dub 1.9.11 or any other version you have. I run the 64-bit version, I think, or the um, you can run 32-bit. Um, I recommend to run the 32-bit, even if you got a 64-bit computer. Anyway. Select your device. I've got my Dazzle selected so far. So click on your device, go to video, and press preview. Then you go to compression, press configure, and in here you type in 10,000. And this, um, mine keep changing to 20,000 here, but that doesn't matter. Just change this to um, 1 or the lowest it can go. And press OK. Make sure you have DivX installed, that is anyway. So, um, Make sure your video source is selected as S video or comp. I just recommend getting S video because you do get a 25% increase in quality and um, that will make your video look way better. Go to capture pin. Okay, if you don't have this option here called YUY2, then that doesn't matter. But um, and here as well, um, I'm using the Dazzle at the moment, so Dazzle has this option here, this um, like dragging the bar thing. But if you don't have this option enabled, do not worry. As long as this here is fine. I mean, um, you can't change it, but yeah, that's meant to be um, whatever your thingy region is. So if you're from America, you should have NTSC here, and if you're from um, the UK and stuff, then you should have PAL or PAL, yeah, PAL B or PAL H or PAL, PAL I. But I use PAL B because that's my signal. And then we touch to be 25 if you're from the UK, and if you're in America, it should be 29.970. Okay. And then here it should be 720 by 576 for the UK and 720 by 5, um, is it 4 something? 480? Yeah, okay, and press obviously, um, you press apply and okay, but I'm not going to. So that's it. Um, go to capture filter. And then here should have these settings, guys. That's meant to press default. Default, um, yeah, that's it, guys. Copy this. I mean, look here. When, when you get a signal detected, that means it's your um, thingy your like region so I can use PAL B, PAL D, PAL G, PAL H, PAL I, but I can't use PAL M you see but um, yeah look see you've got no signal on all these and look me check NTSC I've got I've got a signal on NTSC M but the, uh, it's going to be really a funny picture if you know what I mean so I just use um, PAL oops yeah it goes back to PAL B itself because I'm from the UK and that, that shit's not meant to be happening so press default and OK. Then um, what you want to do is go to levels. Just make sure that's the same. Like all through the middle and sharpness is on two. That's absolutely vital, guys. That the sharpness is on two. OK, accept that. Then um, obviously set cu cu custom format. Sorry, um, 720, 576, YUY2. If not, then um, 72576. And here, if you're in America, it should be 720 by 480. But I use 576. So just copy that. OK. Then, what you want to do is set your capture file. So let's say um, test video for easy cap. Okay, there you go. Um, capture video, and as you'll see, in a second, guys, you'll see all this stuff come up here. Let's say um, if this frames dropped, that means you're getting lag. If it says frames inserted, that means you're getting lag. I mean, I get five. But that's it. I mean, it tells you the audio and everything here. So let's go to um, capture timing settings. Let's copy this. Top two boxes should be text. Tick, sorry, that should be 10. Sync audio to video by resampling the audio to a faster or slower rate. That should be checked. These two should be un unchecked. Automatic, zero. And a top box should be checked. Okay, um, copy this down, guys, if you can see it. There you go. Yeah, I'll give you a couple of seconds for that. Pause the video if you have to. Okay, copy that. And then all you do from here is capture your video. So I'm going to record some footage now. Okay. It's recording footage. Um, yeah, okay. As you guys can see, it's going through storage and stuff. All my games and that. 
Okay. Um. Alright, that's enough footage, guys. Okay, guys. Once you've captured the video, what you're gonna do is open the video file in Virtual Dub, and you're gonna search for your video. And when you find the video, you can see there's two screens. This screen here is the um, before screen. This is the after screen on the right here. So you can tell the difference between the two screens. Okay, what you want to do is um, go to video compression and find DivX. Press configure and choose these settings here. Put it as number one and 10,000 again. It's the same as your capture rate. And press OK and OK again. And then go to video filters, add and find the interlace. And then press OK again. And then once once again press add um look for no transform there you go add that press cropping and um, crop the video down i normally do it at is that that two that's that three that's about two as well and that's about two okay and um, then once you've cropped the video down press okay um then you want to add um a resize let me find resize here it is resize um and un and un um, uncheck this box here and check absolute pixels and check disabled and then um search or type in 1280 by 720 this gives it um the hd quality enabled um it make it enlarge the picture it enlarges the picture but it's not true hd so that's why it's a bit grainy so um just save that press file okay um then add another filter and look for hs is that's the one here hsv adjust and you want to add about press show preview um put it on fifty percent and as you can see it gets like saturated and like the color so basically I normally add about one fifteen or like one twenty or yeah um I say you could try higher but it's up to you I say like one try one hundred and twenty three point eight or something that looks pretty nice and then press add again um and sharpen the main feature and then this is where you guys um, always ask me what should I do I recommend adding about um, the 64 is a bit too much but 28 is not enough, 30 is not enough I say about anywhere between 40 and 55 depending on the game so I'm gonna add about 55 for this okay file okay um, I mean not file okay I mean just press okay and then switch that at 50% put that at 50% or if you want you can put it at 100% and at 100% but as you can tell it does look a bit grainy from there but once you render it down it's going to be pretty good so what you want to do now is um, check your compression if that's on right audio um, don't compress your audio leave it as, as it is and all you have to do now guys is just file save as AVI and search it here let's I mean test video for EasyCap and just let it process so um, to make it go a bit faster what you want to do is uncheck them two and put this on highest what that will do it will um, use your computer's calls to render the video faster but do be careful because virtual dub is quite a um, intensive program to use and it will kind of drain your CPU if you're using the computer at the same time so any other programs that you're running at the time will be affected as well so um, let's watch out for that guys so let's let, let's let it um, process and then um, after that, I'll get onto the um, Sony Vegas tutorial. Okay, um, there we go. So now you've got the file saved. What you want to do is open up Sony Vegas, um, file open, and um, where's my video? Here it is. So once you've got Sony Vegas open, what you want to do is I usually combine the audio tracks first. Right click on here, press properties, maintain aspect ratio, and disable resample. And there you go. Um, well, what disable resample does? It gets rid of the ghosting and like the double picture, if you know what I mean. So there you go. Um, and obviously, as you can tell, it's perfectly cropped all all the way around. And um, once you're in um, here, what you can do if you want to really, um, you can add saturation adjust, boost mid tones. That boosts like the colors. So I say like um, like here you got purple, it'll boost that a bit. You got a bit of blue, and it'll boost it. And you can tell the difference when you have it right in front of you guys. It's a bit easy to tell. And then if you want, you can add um like other stuff like color correction, secondary color corrector, um color curves. But I just add saturation just and then obviously highlight your clip. Um and if you want to make the audio louder, 
properties, normalize, there we go. Um okay. And after that, you want to render your video, so you go to file, render as. And okay, there's there's um two templates you can use. There's either the Windows Media Video 11 and the 5 megabits um HD720 and then drag that out to 100 and put this at best. There you go. Or if you want, you could use um, Sony AVC. Um, basically, what you do is select the top template, press customize, change this to AVC, um, and then choose this to um, 128720. Um, put that at MCA 25 frames per second. Change this to about 8,000 or 8 million, sorry, 8 million. And then obviously, audio will leave that at AAC. Yeah, um, system MP4 obviously, project best. There you go. That's a render settings, guys. So um, basically, what you do, you process the clip and then you add it into Sony Vegas. So um, I hope that you guys have learned from my tutorial because this is all the settings I use and this is exactly what I do when I capture, process, and render my video. And one more thing, guys, if you're in Sony Vegas, you can add commentary and you can like do montage clips and stuff. But um, a word of warning, guys. When you render it in Sony Vegas, it does it will take quite a long time, but it's worth it if you're a commentator or you're doing a montage or like some mini edit or something. But um yeah, so um I'm I hope that you guys have learned from this tutorial. Alright then guys, and um, thanks for watching. Make sure you comment, rate, subscribe and you share the video with your friends and stuff. So um yeah. Alright guys, thanks for watching, peace out. Make sure you pin me to your homepage. What you do, you go to subscriptions and you find my name and you press the pin button. Okay guys, thanks. Be sure to like the video guys. Press that favourite button and add it to your favourites. Press that all important share button. And last of all, comment. Okay guys, thanks.